Hey guys, what's up today? We're looking at estimating a double integral using the contours or the level curves of the function. So we have this double integral here of this function, which is given by these contour lines. And we want to integrate this over the rectangle, x between negative 1 and 1, y between negative 1 and 1, using four subrectangles and midpoints. So the first thing we got to do is partition off this, um, this region. All right, so we've got our region partitioned here in the x, y direction, and we've cut off x and y both to be from negative 1 to 1, and that creates four subrectangles if we cut up evenly. So we're just assuming that these rectangles are evenly spaced in the x direction and evenly spaced in the y direction. So because the x and y bounds are nice um, negative 1 to 1 for both, then we get squares. If they weren't the same for x and y, like if x went from negative 2 to 2, then our partition would be stretched out in the x direction. We would get rectangles in the x direction, and they'd be smaller in the y direction, longer in the x direction. But here we've got a nice uh, square. So let's continue on. Let's see what happens. So we have um, delta x, which is this distance right here. So delta x is equal to 1. Same thing here, delta y is equal to 1. Now delta A we know is delta X times delta Y. So actually it's nice here that delta A is just equal to 1. So the double integral we know over some rectangle F of XY is just going to be the sum of all of these um, function values. So this is times delta A. So this is going to be f of 1 half, 1 half times delta A. Plus, well that's the first midpoint that I've got right here, 1 half, 1 half. Well what about negative 1 half for x, positive 1 half for y? That's this x coordinate and this y coordinate. So this is negative 1 half, positive 1 half right here. So plus f of negative 1 half comma positive one half delta a plus f of well let's go down here to negative one half negative one half delta a plus the last point we've got here f of one half negative one half times delta a Well, in each case, delta A is equal to 1, so just subbing those in, that's not too hard. Now, what are the function values? We don't have an explicit f of x, y. All we've got are the contour lines. So the function value here seems to be somewhere between 3.7 and 3.2. So we're going to just say about 3.6. So we're going to say this one right here is about 3.6. And we'll say that uh, maybe this one over here is about, let's see, what's this contour? 4.2 it looks like. So this is 4.2 right here. And what's this contour? You gotta follow it around, see what function value is 5. So this contour is 5. So somewhere between 4.2 and 5, so we'll just estimate that to be about 4.6. So 4.6 right there. So we'll say that the second value is 4.6. And then what's the function value here? Well, it looks pretty close to 3.2. We'll go with 3.1. Just round it down a little bit. It's pretty close to 3.2. That's the nearest contour line. And let's see, what about this one? It's between 4.2 and 5 as well, but closer to 5. So we'll say about 4.6 again. So 4.6 here. So the first function value is 3.6. So this is going to equal 3.6 times 1 plus 4.6 times 1 plus 3.1 times 1 plus 4.6 times 1. And this turns out to be, let's see, 3.6 plus 4.6 would be 7, 8.2. And then plus 3.1 would be 11.3 plus 4.6 would be 15.9. So 15.9 is approximately the double integral of this function over this rectangle using midpoints.